Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be a BG craziness after the patch 5.0.4. This is the patch where they implement all the Mist of Pandaria stuff. I guess one of the reasons why they do these patches is so that there's a smooth... Oh, someone put feather fall on me. So that there's a smooth transition when, they, when the actual expansion comes out. I had a lot of problems when I was downloading the patch. The patcher did not let me log in in time to, to do the raid with Vox Radix, so I wasn't able to go get my epic legendary two-hander of the tentacle. But hopefully I might try to do that today. By the way, guys, I just got back from the GamesCon Germany. I had the best time ever. I love the GamesCon because that's where I can meet up with the fans, people who play World of Warcraft. And, um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. And I, and I like to take pictures with people, and I get to meet the fans, and I get to, you know, just hang out with them, which is the best feeling ever. I always look forward to that event. It's only once a year, Gamescon Germany. It was like 250,000 people went to that event. It was, it was amazing. Um, if you guys are interested in watching any of that footage, you can uh, check out my IRL channel. I got lots of footage of the Gamescon. Uh, Swifty IRL. Um... I just got whispered by Kirax. He told me that he might be able to get me into a group today to do the heroic dragon soul. So I might be able to get my... Uh, not with Vox, because Vox did it yesterday. I missed that raid because of the, the patching. Um, but I might be able to get into, that, into the group today. And if I do, I'm going to make, definitely make a video about that. Probably the whole run. <laughs> make a couple videos. And to see if the weapon drops. If the weapon drops, it'll be amazing. Um, anyway, all the new changes of Miss Pandaria are implemented. I have all the new talents. Um, I chose Shockwave over Dragon's War. <laughs> um, Dragon's, Dragon's Roar, well, I'll talk, I'll talk about that in a second. Hold on. I, first of all, I want to say a couple of the changes in, uh, in, uh, this new patch is the PvP resilience and the PvP power. I love it. I, I seriously love it. Because what it, what it does is it prevents people from actually getting blown up. If you apply all your defensive cooldowns, you could literally survive a lot. Especially if you have PvP gear, you can survive against multiple attackers. Which is amazing. Which lets you... Um, it lets you do more stuff. It lets you survive. It lets you... Um, Pull some epic maneuvers to get away. <laughs> Sometimes it can be annoying because look, like I'm there's like one healer in this group. No, actually there's more. There's like three healers. There's no way we're gonna kill anybody here. Just because of the fact that there's so many healers. Oh, except if they don't have PvP resilience, they go down easily. So um what you have to do is you have to time your silences and you have to actually time all your CCs. And do it correctly or else it's GG fail. And this looks like GG fail. I'm leaving. I can't. Can I kill this guy? Oh, I can kill him. He had no PvP resilience. Priests are the most badass healers right now in the game. Priests. If there's a priest on the other team, I don't want to fight him. I just want to run. But look at that. Like, I don't die either, because I have a lot of re PvP resilience. Let's look at my PvP resilience. My PvP resilience, I reduce all damage by 64%. That's crazy. Now, in uh, Mr. Pandaria, with, uh, with the first tier of gear, um, I think it goes up to like 70% or something like that. It's crazy. And then I actually added some PvP power, so I do more damage with PvP gear mm. against other players. Normally, you have like 20%. I have like 24%. Silence! Silence you! <laughs> Alright. Run! Run, Gao! <laughs> Gao. Uh, second, er, wow, he's fast. 
very fast. Wow! Hunters can run! My god! That was an amazingly fast hunter. Um, I'm also looking at some of the changes that other classes have, and I noticed... You know something I noticed? A lot of classes have a lot of CC now. I'm getting CC'd left and right. If, you, if you're the focus of CC, uh, you can pretty much guarantee you're going you're gonna to sit in a CC or a snare for like 15 seconds. There's nothing you can do. Druids are overpowered too. Um, on my Boomy, I'm doing like a little bit too much damage at level 85. Remember, these are these are the new talents at level 85. I'm used to pl I'm used to playing with these talents at uh, uh, as level 90 because I was playing in uh, the actual Mist of Pandaria beta. That's cool. I like it. I like the changes. I don't think anybody's like ridiculously overpowered. I heard, except maybe Boomkins. <laughs> A lot of people are complaining about Boomkins. Um, there's something I really like. They're saying, from what I hear, that rogues aren't doing that much damage. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Because as you guys know, rogues are... I hate rogues. <laughs> no, no, I don't hate them. I dislike them. And I, I spend all my energy to try to annoy them, especially on my Boomy. Fury fire all the way. All right, here we go. All right, so what other changes in this patch? Um, there's a couple changes um, that have to do with the pets and mounts. Like for example, you, you notice I have the Spectral Tiger mount on my main character, on my on on Swifty. But now I have the Spectral Tiger on, on all my other characters on my, my account, the, my Battle.net account. So my Druid now has the Spectral Tiger. I, di I, I logged on to check. I had to see it for myself. And sure enough, my Druid has the Spectral Tiger. <laughs> it's awesome. And I have the Spectral Tiger um, Cub, which is the pet, on my, uh, on my Druid too. Didn't, did that priest oh, fear me like twice? What the heck? What was that? I'm telling you guys, priests are overpowered. No, no, not overpowered. They're they're like tough pieces of steel that you can't kill. Especially with PvP resilience. I know for a fact, at level 90, if there's a lot of healers on the other team, no one's going to die. That's how awesome they are. So I really think that double healer warrior is probably going to be a very oh four uh probably going to be a very powerful comp in 3v3 next season i really do all right i'm going to tell you um something a little, a little bit about the the diva filter the difference of the rotation that i do now now to previously Previously, I used to just use Heroic Strike as a range dump, and I would never, ever, ever use Slam. Slam was a casted ability, and I just avoided it at all costs because it it was affected a lot by um, latency. Because you would cast a Slam while you're running on a, on a target, and then it would continue casting even, the, even if the person ran out of range. So a lot of times, Slam would fail. So I just avoided using it at, at all costs. But now... Slam is instant, along with Heroic Strike. Heroic Strike is also instant. And they, pre they buff Slam, so Slam does very good damage. So now I use Slam as a Rage Dump. And now Taste for Blood gives you a stack. Um, I'm sorry, Overpower now can give you uh, stacks of Taste for Blood. Let me show you what it is. It'll show up on my debuff filter. Hold on. My debuff filter is right there. See this? Check right here and wait till you see uh, Taste for Blood, and you're gonna see the stacks. Sapped! Alright, let's try and get some Taste for Blood procs here. Never mind, I'm rooted. Never mind, I'm feared. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Never mind, I'm feared again. <laughs> Taste for Blood stacks, please! Um, the stacks don't stack very often. It's only on overpower proc of a proc. 
so even if I do an overpower, it doesn't proc. It has to be a proc of a proc of an overpower. There we go, I got one. So you see it right there? Now, if I use, now I can use Heroic Strike on someone. Unless I get this Vandal. Alright, here we go, Heroic Strike. Bam, see? And it hits, it doesn't hit, Heroic Strike doesn't hit very hard. But if you can get it stacked up quite a few times, blind it, dare you! If you can get it stacked up to like five times, then you can do quite a bit of damage. I have it stacked up twice now. I'm gonna pop Wreck, and it hit for 7k on a person on a rogue. It doesn't hit very hard. I've had it hit target dummies for almost 100k with, with three stacks, but I have never seen four stacks. The most that I've ever seen are, hey, we won, yay, we won. The most that I have seen are like um, three stacks. So let me go to the target dummy right now real quick. And let me see if I can get four stacks. By the way, guys, I'm going to start live streaming soon. Um, I just got back from Germany. I had to do uh, a couple videos. And uh, I got, had to get settled in. And also, um, I got sick. <laughs> I got sick for a couple days, that's why maybe you hear my voice. So I've just been taking it easy, taking it, taking a break, but now I'm back. Alright, we got one stack, two stacks, you see it? Two stacks increases by 200%. I have like 10 seconds in order to get another stack, but, okay, three stacks, four stacks, oh, 400%. Let's see if I get five, I've never gotten five before. Come on, come on. Come on! Come on! Come on! I'm just gonna pop it. 90k, non crit. So, that's my record four stacks, 90k, non crit. And that's uh, one of the things I had to start getting used to. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna play on my Boomy. I'm really anxious to see my Boomy. The overpoweredness. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.